ARGTV. I'm going to be trying out the Drunken Pumpkin Soap. Limited edition soap. Get this box open. Show you guys exactly what Drunken Pumpkin looks like. My bar is kind of small. I guess, you know, it's part of the old, old edition soap. I had to drop that on the floor. So yeah, this is what the soap looks like. Right here, I'm gonna take a shower and I'll let you guys know how it looks. Hey guys, you know who it is. It's ARG TV. My first thoughts on taking a shower with the drunken pumpkin. There goes the ingredients. Just in case you guys want to pause the video and read them. Um, I like it. I put it in here. You guys know I like recycling things. They don't really have, um, how you call that? Soap trays that have covers, and I like having my car, my soap covered up. I don't like it on that little thing because if not, I would have bought it from Dr. Squash. So I don't like that thing. But getting that out the way, it's a great smelling soap. The scent is mild, and it's the OG one. Um, you can still smell it, but it's mild. But I would say the closest thing to Drunken Pumpkin, all jokes aside, is um, Wood Barrel Bourbon. The other soap that i'm currently using to take a shower um it smells just like drunken pumpkin and it has a stronger cologne smell i think drunken pumpkin to me smells like cologne uh shout out to my boy um damn i always forget your name bro jesus what is it little mac and jtv great content creator subscribe over there subscribe over here um I would go back, going back to the soap, I would say the Drunken Pumpkin is great. It lathers good. And I love it. I can recommend it. If you can get it, the Drunken Pumpkin, go ahead, go for it. I want to make these videos because I feel like this is more entwined with other content creators. And you guys can feel like I'm bonding with you guys at the same time while I'm reviewing uh, Drunken Pumpkin uh, soap. Uh, like I said, the closest thing that smells to it that I could recommend that you guys could get if you want to smell like Dunkin' Pumpkin is Wood Barrel Bourbon. Wood Barrel Bourbon is orange like the Dunkin' Pumpkin, only that it doesn't have the little black swirls. And it smells just like, only that Dunkin' Punk, I mean the um, Wood Barrel Bourbon is a stronger scent than the than the Dunkin' Pumpkin. But other than that, they're just alike and uh, Wood Barrel Bourbon is a bigger bar. I know a lot of people complain, they say why the OG, the new bars of the OG soaps don't smell as strong as the older soaps. It is because these ingredients that, that Dr. Squash gets sometimes are limited and they're so expensive, that's why they started making the bars bigger. So, you know, they're not as strong smelling as the OG bars like this one. Let's say if they made a remake of this one and sometime this year in October, because it is a Halloween soap, Drunken Pumpkin and they made it a bigger bar, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be as strong as this little bar. But to me, as long as it's limited edition and it smells like the original, I don't really care too much about that, man. I mean, at the end of the day, it is to take a soap. I mean, to take a shower is what I meant to say. And it smells awesome. It smells awesome. You know, I'm still gonna, to me, um, Dr. Squash is my favorite out of all the natural soaps I have tried and i'm gonna keep keep my subscription with them i like them i like them a lot and i'm gonna try the star wars out next after i'm done with the junk and pumpkin i might start with the dark side i'm gonna get the the red one i want to try out the red one because it reminds me of a lot of area no not area 51 mars bar so get your hands sign out here you can have some i was messing with my daughter um so you could um, get the um, wood barrel bourbon and it's compatible to the drunken pumpkin. It is compatible. It's a bigger bar, so it'll last longer. And it's a great bar, you know? And I could highly recommend the drunken pumpkin, like I was saying. I hope that for Halloween, um, they, they keep up the, the spice and they come out with new soaps. Like, I would love to see uh, something with zombies. You know, like, 
brain soap and you know all types of different soaps a, a zombie soap a, a vampire soap and like you know stuff like that stuff like that like the halloween themed soaps i would love for um dr squash to come out with something like that all i would say oh no i'm gonna i'm gonna try out the um the star wars edition after i try happy nuts happy nuts I'm not liking it too much. The scents are like really mild and the bars are like really small. They say five ounce bars, but they're like this and they cost $8. So they're even more expensive than Dr. Squash and they're smaller bars than Dr. Squash. So I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase Happy Nuts. I will let you guys know when I try the new, the one that I'm gonna try is called Blue, not Blue Balls. That's what it's called, not Blue Balls. So I am definitely gonna um, try that one first, the blue bar, because it's my favorite color. And I'll let you know how it goes. You know, I'm saying that now without trying it, but you, they always say don't knock something till you try it. So I'm going to try it, and I'll let you know, guys, know how it went with Happy Nuts. But overall, the review on this soap is amazing. If you could get it for, for a good price, I would say go for it. I own four bars of it, the Drunken Pumpkin. And like I said, it was a great experience. I, re I like recycling um, the bars in here. It smells great. Um... And I highly recommend it. This is what it looks like. It's black and orange. You know, it's Halloween theme. So, yeah, it smells like cologne. So I highly recommend it. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. You all ready? And thank you for watching, guys.